Bob, thank you so much for meeting me out here after store hours. I am super excited about this thing. Anything for you, buddy. So it's an original four gauge shotgun, huh? Oh yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's original. <laughs> whoa, 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 hey, hold your horses. Did you get me my stuff? Yeah, I already did it. I dropped off 250 pounds of nacho cheese at your house, just like you requested. What are you gonna do with all that cheese? That's not your business. All right, I respect that. What the heck is this? This is just a 12 gauge shotgun that you wrote four gauge on. You didn't even spell it right. Bob! What's up everybody? My name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics and I am very excited about today's video because I have something really cool that's been in the works for several months. Unfortunately, another YouTuber kind of beat me to the punch. <laughs> tactical gear. I love tactical yeah, gear. Yeah, 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 we get it. You like tactical gear. So what I have today is a BFG-1 Russian four gauge pump action shotgun. There were only about 30 of these things imported to the United States in the 90s, and this one is actually number 23. The BFG-1 is the civilian model to the KS-23. It's pretty much a Winchester 1300 on steroids. Mr. Thumb here has a KS-23 clone that actually started its life as a BFG-1. The only difference between the two is the furniture and the barrel length. So some quick stats on the Russian BFG-1 four gauge shotgun. The barrels are actually anti-aircraft 23 millimeter barrels. Pretty much the Russians had some blemished barrels and instead of throwing them away, they decided to turn them into shotguns. This thing holds three rounds plus one and it is absolutely absurd. You can fit your whole thumb in the end of the barrel. Four gauge. So my biggest hang up with this Russian four gauge shotgun was finding ammo. As you can imagine, it's pretty difficult, but I managed to find some original four gauge shotgun shells. So on the left is a 12 gauge shotgun shell and on the right is a 10 gauge shotgun shell. Now here they are compared to the four gauge shotgun shell. The four gauge shell swallows a 12 gauge shell. It will also swallow a 10 gauge shell. As you can imagine, I am very excited to try this thing out. So uh, let's get started. So first things first, I wanna see if this thing is gonna function correctly. I'm gonna be loaded up with three rounds of four gauge bird shot. That is almost three ounces of number six shot. Okay, let's see if she works. You just got jammed. Didn't want to eject that shell very good. <laughs> Ejected that one. Last one. That is awesome. It looks like that four gauge bird shot was doing quite a number on that steel, but not so much my shoulder. The recoil was kind of underwhelming. To be honest, I've shot Nerf guns that kick harder than that. Look out, Mike! Oh my gosh! Double, triple flip, here we go! Ah! Oh! Oh my gosh! So close! So my first target is gonna be a clear ballistics 10% ballistic gel bear. First, I'm gonna hit Mr. Bear with the bird shot. Oh! Let's have a little look here, shall we? I was expecting those to make it completely through him, but they did not look at all those pellets. That is nuts. The bird shot did not make it through that ballistic gel bear, but I think this will. This is buck shot, but it's not double-aught buck, and it's not triple-aught buck. It's actually 
Quintuple Ot Buck. It would be five zeros. They are 45 caliber pellets, and there's 10 of them in there, equaling almost three ounces of shot. All right, let's see what this does. Ooh. I would say that the buckshot was definitely more effective than the bird shot. Let's have a look here. So pretty much we have some new holes right through here in the front of the bear. And it's pretty obvious that they made it all the way through because as you can see here, our table has been damaged. So we've tested out four gauge bird shot, four gauge buck shot, and now we're gonna test out a four gauge slug on one gallon of gray poupon. 1,000 grain, four gauge slug. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, uh, I don't know. I think this is gonna be really messy. Oh! Well then. <coughs> well, looks like the four gauge shotgun is effective against gray poupon. The only problem is, is there's poop on everything. I got poop on my table. I got poop on my shoulder. And I got poop on my thumb. I am really curious to what kind of spread we're gonna get with the three ounces of bird shot. So I've stacked up a wall of sodas. I'm gonna get back about, I don't know, 25 yards and see how many we hit. That subscribe button. Three ounces of bird shot. Here we go. <laughs> that almost destroyed all of them. I think this guy is a survivor. <laughs> Thank goodness, because I'm thirsty. Don't drink sodas that have been sitting in the hot sun on your range for three months. Other than that one, I don't think we have any others that are without holes. Look at this one though. It took quite a few. Hey ah! I don't know if you know this, but Furbies are an absolute menace to society. They multiply if you get them wet, and if you feed these things after midnight, they'll burn down the whole town. I wonder what Furbies think about Grey Poupon. Oh, it likes it! Also, it may be allergic. So now we're gonna see if the four gauge shotgun is any good at taking. Hey! Where are the watermelons? They didn't have any. Why wish you would have told me that? <sighs> well, I guess we'll get back to it then. Let's see what four gauge buckshot will do to this Furby. <laughs> oh my goodness. Dear. Okay, this Furby <laughs> body or skeleton, whatever you want to call it, is all the way over here. <laughs> Just completely demolished it. So if I ever have a Furby infestation, I think the four gauge will get the job done. I think it's time to bust out another slug, but this time we are going to shoot one gallon of Elmer's glue. had a lot of hang time. That was a pretty cool reaction we had. It is spread all throughout the ground here like a beautiful piece of art. Pretty good. Mm. Did you know that today is my birthday? 
It's not really my birthday, but up next, we're gonna shoot this cake. I think birdshot is an appropriate round for this. You know, it's not okay to eat your cake before you blow out the candles. Oh! Man, I forgot to make a wish. I think some of this managed to not hit Anything. I think that one's will be all right. Nope. <laughs> it's got poop on it. We have made quite a mess over here, but I think we can still crank it up a notch. I have a Ballistic Dummy Labs zombie bust. I want to see what happens when he gets hit in the face with almost three ounces of quintuplelot buckshot. All right, here we go. Oh! Ooh! Let's go check that out. Uh, uh. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and say it. I think a four gauge shotgun would be effective against zombies. We have multiple hits all through here and it actually looks like a few of them may have made it through the back. All right, 1,000 grain, four gauge slug. Whoa! All right, I think that just zipped right through there. All right, well, it looks like I hit him in the ear. You can see right there, it, there's a, a notch missing. And then on this side, uh, we hit his ear again. I think that would have been a little more eventful if we would have hit him with the slug first. All right, well that's gonna be it for today's video. What did you think about the four gauge shotgun? I was actually pretty impressed with it, but I'd really like to know what you thought about it in the comment section down below. If you did enjoy today's video, do me a big favor and give it a like. And if you're not subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics, do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button. Also be sure and check me out on Kentucky Customs, Kentucky Ballistics Shorts, Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links to all those can be found in the description down below, along with a link to KentuckyBallistics.com, just in case you wanna pick up a shirt. And as always, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics. I'll see you next time.